Hey guys, welcome back. Anglers Fall here, and we're back for some more of Broken Sword 4, the Angel of Death. We'd left George in the meat van, uh, literally just about to grab some ice and run and make some more smoke. So, let's go ahead. Grab the ice and run. Run. Run, thank you. Yee. Run better. Oh wow, I'm useless at this, I really am. You, you know, having watched me with these games for ages now, you know how rubbish I am at all of these things. Right, let's get up here. Oh wow. Yeah, he doesn't run easy. Jump. Jump. Oh, we're slightly melted. Right, come on. Up. George! George! Right, up. Come on, up. And then up here. Come on. Thank you. Right, can I now? Where's the ice? There we go. Chuck it on there. Fab. Excellent. Now they're gonna think there's a fire. Ah, that smoke. <laughs> Don't you just love it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, huh? But hey, you can have too much Ooh. of a good thing, right? <laughs> What say we, uh... Yeah, yeah, get out of here, guys. I'll head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success. <laughs> For God's sake, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Perfect. Here they go. Okay, so that's how I get in. So that must be the key cardy thing. That guy who walked out hey, in the middle. Hey, Tony. How's it hanging, Tony? <laughs> Literally, you guys finish up they're now twins, aren't home, they? Here. What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Ah, let him be. Hey, he <laughs> ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. Yes, I'm gonna take the manuscript. Perfect. Right, so I need to find a key card. How do I find a key card? Oh, I need to get to that other dude, don't I, maybe? Let's try going up here. Perfect. Oh yeah, also it was Tony. They aren't twins. It is just Tony. That's fine, that's fine. Can I maybe go in there now? No. Oh, ah, here we go. What's happening? Oh, oh, oh my wow. God, this must be Tony. Looks like it's going to be another good year for the Martino Vintage. Oh, yeah, you can only imagine what's in their salami, can't you now? Who is he? Poor guy's hanging from a meat hook. This must be the guy Fingers was talking about earlier. Ish. So this is what happens if you cross the Martinos. Yeah, maybe not so good, hey, George? I really don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Ugh. What do we got? Yes! Ooh. A key card. Fantastic. What was the other thing I could do? I should leave the guy in peace. Yep, that, that sounds good to me. Perfect. Run, run, run. No, no, no. Run, I say. There we go. Thank you. Oh, this one's opened up now. Oh, where does this go? Oh, wow. This was where he was. Ah, sweet. Ah, no, 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 no. That way. Thank you. Right, key card. Come on. Uh, where am I going? Hey, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Honest. I'm really not lost. I just can't control George. No, that's the way out. Oh, idiot! Is this door I wanted to go through? Wasn't it? I apologise. I apologise. Where am I? Oh, just he's looking around. The rest of them came out of this room. But how? The room's full of wooden boxes and there's only one exit. Yep. So therefore, that'll be the keycard I've just got. Meat packing keycard. Exit. Oh, so the guy used to work with them as well. Thank heavens for secret doorways. Yes, yes, yes. We love a secret doorway. Right, then. Get up here. Please don't come back, guys. Please don't come back. Thank you. Oh, look at the sunshine coming through. 
anything else up here? No, it's literally just this one room. That's fine. Now oh, look at that coming through. That is pretty. It has moved on just a bit since that first um the first broken sword, hey? Just on the graphics. Don't get me wrong, they're still they're still simple. The cabinet's graphics, locked and secured yeah. so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Maybe I get the key from down the bottom that I used. I don't know. Let's have a rummage in the drawers. The drawers are locked. Fingers must have taken the key. Ah, typical. How about these ones? Aha! Uh -huh. What's that? What is that? That's like a napkin or something, isn't it? Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Uh -huh. Terrific. A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. <laughs> nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Uh, yeah, but let's, let's examine it. Come on. A promo photograph of Lucy uh. Chu. In here. The drawers are locked. Okay, how do I get the... Oh, yeah, see, I think it would be the keys down the bottom, won't it? Oh, wow. I'm all the way up here, and I now need to go all the way back down. Typical. I really should have thought of that beforehand. Right, oh, the wall there. Oh, wow, George. Useless. Useless with your directing. Oh, wow. I say George. It's obviously me, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll use George as the excuse. Right, let's get those keys. Uh, where am I going? Yes, I am going this way, aren't I? Yeah, round here. Perfect. Let's grab those keys. No, I want the keys. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's head on back up there. Ah, no. Stop, George, stop. I want you to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Come up the stairs. Ah, it's much easier to clicking. Let's just keep clicking. There we go. Goes much easier than trying to direct him. Or, well, me trying to actually steer him. Although it doesn't actually go that much easier. Right. Oh, wow. He's painful. He's painful. Right, let's go in the drawers first. And we'll, um... We'll, uh come back to the cabinet last. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Why not? The drawers are locked. Yes, but I told you to use the keys. That's not the right approach. Well, okay then. How about here then? Mm, that won't work here. Okay. Well, we'll just use the keys on them. Um... How about... How about... How about I use my golf club? <laughs> I am not going to okay. do that. Well, shush, George. You don't have to stare at me and laugh at me That's like that. That's not what? the right approach. How is that not right? Hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, how could I... So what else have I got? I've got... We haven't used the bone cruncher yet, have we? What about... Okay, so the keys are not going to work on that. Right. So, if we can't use the keys on that, we need to... Well, we need to use the keys on, like, the meat grinder. But what are we going to do with the meat grinder? Huh. Right, um, let me see. What could we... We've gained a hanky. There's there's the grease, isn't there? There's the grease. We had the grease from ages ago, which um we haven't used yet. So let's see what we can do with grease. We've got this whole room here, haven't we? Oh look, there's a something here. Let's grab that. That's gotta be handy. I'm not about to sit in that chair. I don't want you to sit in it, I want you to grab that. Whoa. There's a pool of blood under the chair in the corner. Of mm. course. We all know that pigs don't sit on chairs. I don't even want to imagine what's been going on in here. I want the meat cleaver. Give me the meat cleaver. I'm not about to sit in that chair. 
Okay, don't 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 take the meat cleaver then. Nothing over here. Right, let's nothing there. Nothing there. Right, let's go back to in here. So we gathered an extra so yeah, the grease. How do I get the grease? Do with the grease. Um Aha! Yes, let's try this. Get a load of grease. There we go. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out. <laughs> what are we going to do with that, though? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, you know what? You know what? Let's let's head on back to the ah. Oh wow, this is painful. Uh, it is this way, isn't it? Yes. I want to head back up. Do 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 do. If we head back up here. Do 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 do. Come on, George. Make it easier for me. Right. What is up? Ah, oh, look, we've got an open window here. Here we go. Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. Uh -huh. Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. Right. I could tear cars apart. Yeah. I don't want to be falling over there. Right. So. It's the cabinet where Finger stashed Anna Maria's manuscript. Uh -huh. Secure being the operative word. I've never seen so many locks. Uh -huh. How am I going to get into it? Yeah, see, look, bone crusher. This, that, okay, right, okay, let's go, let's go use the keys on the bone crusher. Oh, she says, and then completely runs into a um, wall. Come on, go down, go down, there we go, perfect, thank you. Head down there, thank you. Yeesh. Makes it so hard, this George. Right, so let's come out here, go this way. Chuck our keys, keys in here. Perfect. I put the keys back in the bone cruncher. And now let's. Yes. No, I don't want the keys. Put them back on there. Nothing's happened. Oh. The bone cruncher isn't firing up. Give me the keys back. Keys. Thank you. Right. Next. I, I put don't... the keys back in the bone cruncher. I don't want to take the keys. I want to start it up. There we go. That's what I'm after. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good God, he's painful to control. Ah, there's a wall there, George. Stop running into walls. Anyone would think you enjoy w w running into walls. Right, so can I push you? No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Okay, so this is my try where I've got that. Okay. The secure cabinet's wheels are rusted and seized up. Nothing a bit of oil or grease won't fix. Exactly. Come on. Ah, there we go, right. Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. Perfect. Perfect. It's as if it was all planned out, hey? Here we go. There, that should do it. The wheels might move a little now. Excellent, right, so let's push it. Oh wow, this is gonna go, oh wow, smash. I'm so glad they're not actually here. Because if they were, oh wow, oh wow. That, w okay, that, all that was a random, um, jump but it, it, it kind of worked we'll go with it we'll go with it I don't care I've got my manuscript that's what I'm after wait 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 come on George get yourself down there here we go keep going awesome right and back out let's go grab the manuscript at least she pays me to do a job this is what I do what you just pick up pick up Underneath the MP3 player Ooh. is Anna Maria's manuscript. 
Oh yeah, like you couldn't see. There was it was a little tiny thing on top of a manuscript. Pool. It's the real thing, all Pool. right. 14th century. The question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. No. I need somewhere much more salubrious. Oh, is it going to be what's his name? Is this going to be Andre? Hey, Anna Maria, look. George, you found it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All part of the service. Now, let's see just what we've got here. Oh, yes. Let's have a look. Let's have a read. Looks like some crusaders again, as per usual. I'll say Latin header. Right. It says... Below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel. Okay. For he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Your Latin's good. <laughs> it was yeah. kind of geeky at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. So, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was and where his fortress is. And then find a way to get below it. But Minor which detail. Fortress? Okay, let's read the next bit. Let's read Latin part one. It says, The first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Maybe the first refers to the path that the righteous must take to reach the angel. That makes sense. Hmm. So we should understand the clue once we arrive at the right place. Yeah, but how do you find the right place? Go for the second it path? It says... The second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Okay. Wait. It says, the third, follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress where he did fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city and as Grand Preceptor, he was received. Hmm. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed Grand Master of the Order. It is always the Order. Before journeying to always. the island where he holds his court. Hmm. It was the last bit. It says, the last. To see the light turn from Holy Sion. Of the Empire of the that? East. The seat of the Holy Church in the West. The learned Coptic city to the south. Turn from Holy Sion to face. From where? Jerusalem? Huh. Hey, what's this? A Must fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. Always? Oh, wow, that looks. The fires painful. of hell are consuming the city. Okay. This. See how the fortified city has minarets? <laughs> it looks eastern. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. That looks... Like, yeah, Eastern, definitely. This must be the angel that the manuscript refers to. It doesn't look much like treasure to me. Huh? Yeah, Four knights with shields. The fourth coat of arms is hidden. They're not helpful. Huh. We're going to have to find that fourth coat of arms, aren't we? Oh, what's that? Fleur de Lis. That's French. That's French. In some pattern. It's the French um, bag, isn't it? From like the 1400s or whatever. It's a blue thing with um, a fleur de lis on it. I'm pretty sure. What else is there? Fortified. Oh, the knight. And this looks like St. George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he came from Turkey. Huh. Well, there we go. Who knew? Ah, here we go. We've got Cross, some crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Look, you, it just means that you've got, um... Yeah, a mixture of everything. So, eastern, western... The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took care their treasure would be safe. That's it, the Templars. Every single time... He has does does something. It's the Templars. So yeah. So um, how do I get out of this? Um, get out. How do I get out? Uh, let me out. Let me out. 
Oh, hell. Let's the have a look at hell. The fires of hell are consuming the city. How do I come out of here? Let me out! Come on. Come on, let me out. Well, I've read all of that. Done the sea. Fled the least. Done that. Done the castle. Done hell. Angel. Night. Fortified city. Idol. There we go. I'd miss hey, something. I recognise this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. Yeah, you do. Right, now we've seen it all. Now we can get can out. Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets That'll are be the dangerous. Internet. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre Lobino's Society uh, of Antiquarian Lobino, Knowledge, see? but I was locked out. Didn't you say that <gasps> Virgil had hacking skills? Yeah, but he's pretty angry right now. Then get charming. Yeah, just be friendly with him. Buy him pizza. Yeah, get him pizza or something. Let's talk to you. Anna Maria, can you spare a moment? What do you need, George? Yes, yeah, so, manuscript, so, anything? So, this manuscript has been in your family for years, huh? It was handed down to my father. He had a whole collection. Ooh. Oh, so there were more? Many more. Okay, how many more? So each one could point to a hidden treasure. I wouldn't be too sure about that. But this one certainly does. I am intrigued. Ooh, let's talk about that Martino's. That meatpacking place is pretty shady. It's a real factory, huh? It is. But take my advice, never <laughs> eat a Martino salami. No, never do. Do we actually have a salami up here? Oh, no, it doesn't say. So why are the Mafia after your manuscript? My father was a heavy drinker. There wasn't a bar in town he didn't tell his treasure map oh, story. Oh, fool. And the fact that his daughter was decoding it. I guess it was just a matter of time before someone took him seriously, huh? Of course. Where is Virgil? How's Virgil holding up? Well, he's pretty upset. He blames you for the loss of his MP3 player. Uh -huh. Those guys weren't even after me. Crazy enough, I just happen to have got an MP3 player. Well, that's convenient, hey? Hey, Virgil. But you know what? What I'll do is I'll hold it. No, 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 no. no. I, I will do the Virgil, Virgil thing. I feel terrible. Virgil? The silent treatment. I hate that. Okay. That's fine. We'll chuck the MP3 player at Virgil. There we go. Here, present. Virgil, I know nothing can replace your MP3 player, but I thought this might ease the loss. Well, what do you know? Same model. Uh, you steal it? No, certainly oh, not. Oh, it's most probably his. I'm a lawyer. Exactly, Actually so his. you stole it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't replace the music, though, does it? Ah, heck. I got it all on CD at home anyway. Yeah, but it'll be your but MP3 thanks, player. It will be. They literally just stole it from you. Hey, Virgil, you got five minutes? Sure, what can I do for you? Okay. <laughs> Virgil, yes. I need to get online to do some research. So go online. What's stopping you? Uh, the site I need blackballed me after Glastonbury. <laughs> Locked me out. Strange that. Take it from me, George, and I've been in prison. Ain't no such thing as locked out. Now, where's that little gadget? Ah. I know it's here somewhere. There you go, George. This should be useful. Thank you. What is it? It's a flashcard with a few little features of my own design. Just slip it into your PDA and ride that internet. Nice. Nice. Virgil, worrying. But let's talk about Mafia Gang. So, what happened after we barricaded ourselves in? First they broke into your office, then they searched the whole place, then they smashed everything up. Eek. Oh, I bet you showed them a few moves though, hey Virgil? Are you kidding? I was under the desk, man. <laughs> oh, well so what did they do then? Busted my MP3 player and left. Mm. Oh, well, they that's busted it. Story. Oh, I thought they stole it. <laughs> What's so funny, man? Well, you under a desk, Virgil. I mean... <laughs> I wish I'd oh, seen no, that. Oh no, don't, George. If you want to keep me as your friend, you better leave yeah. it, George. Learn when to just stop. So, uh, how's Anna Maria been holding up? Oh, don't worry about her, man. I talked her into a nice, cool place. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, she's been through a lot, George. She needed a shoulder to lean on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. 
And you just happen to have one available, huh? You know me, George. That's the yep, one. I do. I think that's good. I think that's good. We are ready to search the Tinterweb for stuff on the manuscript. So what we'll do, we'll hold it here for today. Um, we found out a lot. We know we're going to be going after the Templars yet again. Every single time. It is always the Templars with this guy. Every, every single... Yeah, there's no ifs and buts about it. It will always be the Templars that are involved. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back next time and see what the Tinterweb has to say about it all. Um, so yeah, don't forget to drop a like down below, guys. Comment away. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The, the support would be greatly welcomed. But yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Toodles, folks.